worthy and privilege given to us to come to worship at your feet. May your name alone be glorified. Glorify yourself, Lord. Glorify yourself, Lord. Glorify yourself, Lord. In my life, glorify yourself, Lord. Glorify yourself, Lord. Glorify yourself lord in my life glorify yourself lord glorify yourself lord glorify yourself lord in my life glorify yourself lord glorify yourself lord glorify yourself lord in my life i cannot do without you i cannot do without you i cannot do without you oh lord I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord. That God that answered by fire, He will answer me by fire. He will answer me by fire. Today. A God that answered by fire, he will answer me by fire. He will answer me by fire today. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. Hallelujah. That wonderful name, Jesus. There is no other name I know. Amen. 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 On behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ, the head of the church, the author and the finisher of our faith, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer the one that died on the cross of Calvary, the one that was buried and he resurrected mm. on the third day, the one that has gone to heaven and is on the right hand of the throne of his father and making intercession for us. On this behalf, I welcome you to this our broadcast. I welcome you also on behalf of God's own servant, a special servant of the almighty God, the Elijah of our time. The man that I refer to as not an ordinary man, Dr. Daniel Kola Wole Ulukoya, the general overseer of Martin of Fire Miracle Ministry worldwide. And on behalf of his lovely, wonderful, and beautiful wife, our own dear mommy, mother in the Lord, Pastor Dr. Mrs. Falashadi Ulukoya, you are most welcome to this special broadcast of connecting to the God that doeth her things connecting to the God that dwells our things. And if on the day like this, we are treating on the topic, he is able. He is able. I welcome you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Your coming to this broadcast this day is not by accident. As our Father and the Lord used to say, no one comes to mountain of fire by accident, he, everyone came because there is something in the person's life that God wants to correct or want to contribute or want to do something quite different. And as you have come, you will never go back with the plastic experience. You will go back with the touch of God to bring a turnaround in your life. There will be healing, there'll be deliverance, and there'll be breakthrough. Those things will happen in your life so that glory 
and honor will belong to the Lord, the enemies and this kingdom of darkness will be put to shame and we all will be blessed. Amen. Amen. The Lord has spoken to us severally. Say for every time you want to start your start the broadcast, you must pray the prophetic covenant prayers. The prophetic covenant prayers, seven of them. We must pray them before we start the business of the day. The Lord has said it to us over and over again. And that is our connection. When we do that, we plug ourselves into the socket of the Almighty. And as it is, connected to the God of that doeth hard things. And he is able to program today. I know as we pray these covenant prayers, some great things will begin to happen mm -hmm. in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Power of the Most High God. My life is available. Overshadow my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Most High God. My life is available. Overshadow my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Most High God. My life is available. Overshadow my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Most High God. My life is available. Overshadow my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Most High God. My life is available. Overshadow my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Most High God. My life is available. Overshadow my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise, sanctify, sanitize, watch my body, soul, and spirit from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise, sanctify, sanitize, and point my body, soul, and spirit from the tip of my head to the sole of my feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise, sanctify, sanitize, and point my body, soul, and spirit from the tip of my head to the sole of my feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise, and sanctify, sanitize, and sanitize, and point my body, soul, and spirit from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, arise and sanctify and sanitize and point my body, soul, and spirit from the tip of my head to the sole of my feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Say, Holy Ghost and fire, arise in your power and fall upon me for signs, wonders, and miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost and fire, arise in your power and fall upon me for signs, wonders, and miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost and fire, arise in your power and fall upon me for signs, wonders, and miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost and fire, arise in your power and fall upon me for signs, wonders, and miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, in the move of your power here today, I am available. Do not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, in the move of your power here today, I am available. Do not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, in the move of your power here today, I am available. Do not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, in the move of your power here today, that life is available. Do not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, my Father, in the move of your power here today, I am available. Do not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, my Father, in the move of your power here today, I am available. Do not pass me by. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, my divine helpers, wherever you are, hear the word of the Lord. Arise and locate me at my place of location now. In the mighty name of Jesus, my divine helpers, wherever you are, hear the word of the Lord. Arise and locate me at my place of location now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, my divine helpers, wherever you are, hear the word of the Lord. Arise and locate me at my place of location now. In the mighty name of Jesus, my divine help us. Wherever you are, arise and locate me at my place of location now. In the name of Jesus, my divine help us. Wherever you are, hear the word of the Lord. Arise and locate me at my place of location now. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, my divine help us. Wherever they are, hear the word of the Lord. Arise and locate me at my place of location now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Say, oh Lord, let your fresh fire and anointing be released upon your servant, Dr. D.K. Lukoya, the general overseer of MFL Worldwide, with blessings in his calling, his ministry, and his family. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your fresh fire and anointing be released upon your servant, Dr. D.K. Lukoya, the general overseer of MFL Worldwide, with blessings in his calling, in his ministry, and in his family. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your fresh fire and anointing be released upon your servant, Dr. Daniel Kola Lukoya, the general overseer of Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry worldwide, with blessing in his calling, his ministry, and his family. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your fresh fire and anointing be released upon your servant, Dr. Daniel Kola Lukoya, the general overseer of Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministry worldwide, with blessings, with blessings in his calling, in his ministry, and his family. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your fresh fire and anointing be released upon your servant, Dr. Daniel Kola Lukoya, the general overseer of Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry, with blessings in his calling, his ministry, and his family. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh Lord, make MFM worldwide a citadel of holiness, wonders, miracles, and glory upon the earth, marked out for purity, power, and progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, make MFM worldwide a citadel of holiness, wonders, miracles, and glory upon the earth, marked out by purity, power, and progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, make MFM worldwide a citadel of holiness, wonders, miracles, and glory upon the earth, marked out by purity, power, and progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, make MFM worldwide a citadel of holiness, wonders, miracles, and glory upon the earth, marked out by purity, power, and progress in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen, a sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Our God is a great God, a great King, above all the God, our God, our God, is a great God, a great King, above all the God. Jesus Christ is Lord, Jesus Christ is Lord, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Every knee must bow and every cause confess. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. As I'm walking along the way, the way is so narrow. Holy Spirit, be my God. Amen. Father, to you, Lord, be all the glory, be all the honor. Be all the glory and adoration forever. Father, to you, Lord, to all the glory. O rock of ages, be all the honor. You are the King of kings, be all the glory and adoration forevermore. Arise, O oh God, arise. Arise, O oh God, arise. Arise, O oh God, arise. And fight my battle. Arise, O oh God, arise. Arise, O oh God, arise, and fight my battle. Oh, I fight my battle. Arise, O oh God, and fight my battle. Arise, O oh God, and fight my battle. Arise, O oh God, and fight my battle. Arise, O oh God. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. That lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. 
the lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. As the children of God were praising the Lord, the wall of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The children of God were praising the Lord. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. We have some prayers to pray, and I want you to put on now your thinking, your warrior cap, and pray those prayers very well. Say, my father, I am in your courtroom. Avenge me of my adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, I'm in your courtroom. Avenge me of my adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, I'm in your courtroom. Avenge me of my adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, I'm in your courtroom. Avenge me of my adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, I'm in your courtroom. Avenge me of my adversaries in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Some people joined their hand together and sued the man to court. He sued the man to court to drive him away from his land. They sued the man to court. The man had the had the uh, what do you call the uh, the certificate of occupancy. But before he came to the place, they have started building the place. Before you know what is happening, somebody who owns his own land, the people now went ahead and sued the man to court. Number one. Not only did they mm. take over the land, they have now uh, gone ahead and take their own document and collected money from the bank to build a house upon that land. So they sued the man that the man was trying to claim what does not belong to them. So they took the man to court. So when they came to court, the, the people were dragging their feet, they want this thing. So the judge, the first day the man just walked into the court, and the judge looked at him and said, ah, I know this man, I know this man. This man, this man is familiar. This familiar. So the while the his own lawyer were doing play tactics because the lawyer already has collected money from the other party. He said, okay, uh, Joy said, I want to give this case accelerated hearing. Accelerated hearing. Accelerated hearing. Meanwhile, he looked at the whole document. It looks as if the man was guilty of the charge that is being charged against him. So, but when you look at the man, he remember what happened between him and that man about 25 years before. Because that time the guy was young. So he called the man. After some time, after a year of being in court, he now called him and said, hey, hey, my friend, come. Do you know me? He said, no, sir. He said, you don't know me. So he said, next time when we are coming, I'll bring some people who, who call. So the man now brought his family members. The family members. So immediately they got to court. The family members were inside the court. But he had told them before. He, he didn't tell them anything. He said, come to the court. Come and see somebody. Whether you can remember the person. So the family member they came to court and saw the brother in the court. Ah, they look and say, ah. They now went to him. See, where have you been? Where have you been? How we have been looking for you. We're looking for you. Not knowing that this man was the one that rescued the brother, who is now the judge over the case, when a hit and run driver hit him into the gutter. He took him to the hospital, nursed him until he came out of coma, and then went to the, the, the family and then brought the family to take over from the case where he stopped. Ah, these people, they were so happy. They were so happy. So they now sent somebody to go to the shambles to go and say, ah, is that brother now that uh, delivered you when you were hit by this, when you were in Unilag? Yeah, he, he said, hey, he said, I wanted you to find out whether it's the person. This is the case he has. So I want you people to go to land, to go and find out whether it's the owner of the land, because he has a certificate of occupancy, and they are saying it's fake. So he now went away and then complained. When the people now went there and complained, say this case is from so, so, so George. Ah, the people in the land now started panicking. They started panicking. They are panicking, not knowing that these people that took over his line clone the certificate of occupancy, put their name in the place of the that the one that they are holding is the original. Okay, the one that that they man own is the original. The judge didn't say anything. So that is how when they came to court, they said, "Okay, bring your this." In. Now brought a land people. The land now compared the two. This is a final that the one that was owned by this person. So he took the case and the adversaries were seriously dealt with. He told him that to pay the man to bringing him to court 
on, uh, on for an uncalled reason, did you pay the man 25 million naira? 25 million naira. The people now started packing and uh, then begging, saying, No, I've solved the case. Pam, case closed, case dismissed. So you have to pray. Say, domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My stubborn enemies, uh, I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, open your mouth and begin to pray. My stubborn enemies, I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. My stubborn enemies, I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. My stubborn enemies, I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. My stubborn enemies, I drag you to the court of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. My stubborn enemies, I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Enemies of my progress, I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus, enemies of my progress, I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus, enemies of my progress, I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus, enemies of my progress, I drag you to the court of my Almighty. Masi kaponto rebaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you have dragged them into the court now. You are going to pray the next prayer. Say, oh God, arise. Judge them that trouble me by your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, Oh God, arise and judge them that trouble me by your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, arise, judge them that trouble me by your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, arise, judge them that trouble me by your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, arise, judge me, judge them that trouble me by your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, arise, judge them that trouble me by fire. In the name of Jesus, send them to the prison of the desert, send them to the prison of desert. Judge them, judge them that trouble with your fire. Judge them to death. Judge them with the capital punishment. Judge them and take them into the desert. Oh God, arise. Judge them that trouble me by your fire. In the name of Jesus, judge them. Judge them. Masika Kondoreba. Brava Baba Kondoreba. Judge them that trouble me with your fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well done. Well done. Amen. We want to consider today, we want to pray some prayers. We might not be able to get far, but we just give a general overview of what we want to do with it. Amen. Praise God. Nobody can deal with God unless two very important things happen in your life. That things you must stand on those two things. One is righteousness and holiness. Righteousness and holiness. If those two things are not working in your life, you are not standing uh, 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 righteousness on the ground of righteousness, on the ground of holiness, you cannot be able to get justice. We want to get justice for issues and problems of our life. We want God to intervene in our life. Therefore, we are trying to look at an issue today with righteousness and love. Through faith in Christ, we receive justice. Amen. You can write it with righteousness and love. Through faith in Christ Jesus, we receive justice. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That's, that's what. So, with righteousness and love, through faith in Christ Jesus, we receive justice. There is no way we won't get justice if we're standing on righteousness and love. Through faith. So here we're looking at five very four very important things: righteousness, love, faith, and justice. Amen. Those are the things that we are looking at. So we might not cover all of them. So we must start to deal with righteousness. And then next time, when in our broadcast, we'll look at love, we'll look at faith, we have dealt with faith over time, and then we'll begin to, to, to uh, look at justice. Amen. That's why we prayed those prayers before. For you to have an idea of the kind of prayers we'll be praying. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So that we know the kind of prayer that we want to pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So first and foremost, you want to ask, what is righteousness? What is righteousness? 
The easier definition that we can give is that righteousness literally means if you forget all the other uh, uh, definition that I will give, don't forget this one. It means literally stand, right standing with God, right standing with God, right standing with God. Okay, it is. It has to do with one status with the Almighty. Is the status of a man with the Almighty? It said. Abraham believed God and it was counted for him for righteousness. So you can see the connection between faith and that. And one of the key things that you will love, that you love in the life of Abraham are two very important things, love and faith. Love and faith, love and faith. He never misses that. Everywhere you see Abraham, one of the key things that you know is that he has love and he has faith. Amen. He has love and he has faith. If you don't believe me, let me show you. The love of Abraham was so much that he had so much confidence in Eliezer the Damascus. He had so much confidence in Eliezer the Damascus. Until I read the book, until I went to the Bible to read the Bible at a place that in Genesis, in Genesis, let us go to Genesis. Amen. Let's go to, 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 to Genesis. When we go to Genesis, we will see what exactly I am talking about. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. There was the, the, this man, this man called, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, Abraham. Abraham was such a great man. Amen. Abraham was such a great man. A great man. A great man that there is nothing really that you can see about him that does not depict, okay? That does not depict that which you want to call a man really after God's own heart, amen? A man of great discipline. If you go with me to Genesis chapter 14, Genesis chapter 14, I want to show you something there. I want to show you something that to give to you that Abraham was a man of love, a man of love, okay? And a man of faith. And because of his faith, because he believed God, it was counted in for him for righteousness. So righteousness is right standing. So two things that are very important is what? Love and faith. And the same thing also, Apostle Paul say, love, faith. Amen. Love. Which love, which is called charity. Faith and hope. Amen. Those things are very important in the tripod of a Christian life. But here we are looking, not only hope, because if you have faith, you don't need to hope for anything anymore. Amen. Because the faith will be able to sustain it. Amen. Praise God. So look at what happened in the life in, in his life. In life. Amen. Look, look at what happened. Let I think we want to read um, read uh, let, let's read from uh, 11, 14, 11, 14, 11. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all the victual and went their way. And they took Lot, Abraham's brother's son. Can you hear that? This was in in Lot in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. You know that Lot decided to took the place that was fertile, and Abraham did not complain. Abraham did not say anything. Still, Lot now got into trouble. Abraham, brother's son, who dwelleth in Sodom, and is good, and departed. And they came one that had escaped and told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plains of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Escort and brother of Anna. And these were the confederate with Abraham. Abraham was dwelling with them. Abraham didn't have any problem with them. Why? Because Abraham has so much love. They see in him, they see the way he even speak, he even talk and play with his, uh, with his wife. They know that they are lovers. Amen. Well, look at what he said. And Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive. He armed his trained servant, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them to death. Listen to me. This man, he was not a soldier, but he trained people. As at this time, he does not have a child. But the people that were in his house, he treated them as part of his own. 
He treated them well. Can, can you see that down? He said the people that were born in his house, he, tra he trained them, trained his servants. There were servants, 318 of them. He took 318 to pursue. That means there are more that are there in his house that, because he didn't use all. And look at what happened in verse 15. That's the clincher. Look at verse 15 and 15. And he divided himself against them. He and his servant by night and smote them and pursued them into Habo, that is on the left hand of Damascus. Can you see? He divided himself, which means that because of his attitude, you could see that in each of the 318 with Abraham, you could not distinguish who was Abraham or not. Can you see that now? He divided himself against the enemy, which means that if you see one of the 318, he behaved exactly like Abraham. So the 319 of them were fighting the war the same way, same character, same attitude, same behavior by reason of love and with faith. That is why when you say Abraham, Abraham has faith. And no, you have to look at it on the basis of love. Righteousness and love, through faith in Christ, we receive justice. Amen. Can you say that now? So that is what it amen, brought. Look at what happened. Look at one. So he divided himself. The same thing happened all over in the case of Abraham. Abraham was a man of love. That is the same thing. The same love that the Lord Jesus Christ has for, for his disciples. He was so close to the disciple, so much love that they have, that they could not distinguish him from the disciple. He needed Judas to kiss the Lord Jesus Christ to tell the soldiers who was the Lord Jesus Christ. Because they couldn't discern they didn't know who was the, who was who. Why? But they have been seeing the Lord Jesus Christ. They have been seeing the miracle he was doing. But because of his love, they could not differentiate who it is. So righteousness and love, through faith in Christ Jesus, we receive justice. Amen. Praise God. You must take note that what is righteousness? Amen. What is righteousness? We can get that one very clearly from this woman who went to a an unjust judge. Can, can you see that now? It, when you are righteous, when you come before an unjust judge, the unjust judge will still have to listen to you because why? You are righteous. Remember the woman in Luke chapter 18. Let's go to Luke chapter 18. In Luke chapter 18, look at this woman. Look, Luke chapter 18. I want to read from verse 1. From verse 1. Go with me to verse 1. He said, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Amen. Are you there now? And he said, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, another regarded man. That means that this man is unjust, an unjust judge. Amen. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, avenge me of my adversaries. And he will not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, do I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her constant coming, she weary me. I, I, I follow you now. Can you see that now? Why? Because the unjust judge find out that from this woman, there's a righteousness in her. Amen. So that's what we must do. So when we want to talk about righteousness, we're talking about number one, a, a virtue. A righteousness is a virtue. Righteousness is a virtue. Something that you cultivate, righteousness. You build righteousness. Amen. Righteousness is morality. Amen. You must have a moral standing for you to come. He said anyone that come before God must come with a clean heart and a clean hand. Amen. There must be morality. You cannot be in sin and be righteous. It's not possible. You cannot be disobedient and be righteous. You cannot be a person that is in the church that is not contributing anything and expect to be righteous. You cannot be walking, okay? You, you, cannot, you cannot refuse to walk in the house of God and expect to be righteous. Amen. You cannot be hate, having hatred, bitterness in your life and expect to be righteous. No. It's a moral standing. Okay, sin, iniquity, unrighteous living, 
doing whatever you like. Morality is very important. Ca character defect, okay? A, a, a conscience that is, is already is already sieved. A, a, a conscience that is not there anymore. It means that you don't have righteousness. Amen. What is righteousness? Righteousness is justice. Righteousness is justice. Righteousness is bringing justice and knowing what is right to do. Amen. What is righteousness? Righteousness is decency. Being decent. Amen. A lot of people are not decent. A lot of people are not decent in their life, in their behavior, in where they go to, the places they go, the kind of friends they keep. We will tell you there's no decency in their life. The way they dress, the way they comport themselves, what comes out of their mouth, you will know they are not decent. They are not decent spiritually. They are not decent in their character. They are not decent emotionally. They are not decent physically. Amen. Decency, right, right standing, righteousness is rectitude. Amen. Righteousness in being blameless. In being blameless. In being blameless. Righteousness is an asset. Amen. Righteousness is what? It's an asset. What is righteousness? Righteousness is the quality of a man. Amen. Righteousness is a quality of a man. Praise God. Righteousness is being in an advantage. That is, when people look at you, they can see the difference between you and the other people. They can see the righteousness that is in you, but then you have a better advantage than the other people. Say, I can trust this man. I can trust this man. I have confidence in this man. Why? Because of your right standing. Amen. Mm. What is righteousness? Righteousness is a benefit. Righteousness is a benefit. Righteousness is a benefit. Righteousness is not just a word to be used or saying it's a right standing with God, which we have defined, but also it is a benefit. It's a benefit that comes to you. Amen. Because when you are righteous, everything falls in place for you. Amen. So righteousness is a benefit. It's a benefit we derive. By working righteousness, we can go places. Amen. Praise God. Anyone that is righteous don't have to fear anything. Amen. Righteousness is a plus to our life. Amen. So that's why it's very important for us to be righteous. What is righteousness? Righteousness is good quality. Amen. It's the quality, the quality of our life. We know the quality of our life by our right standing, by our right standing with God. It's a good quality. It's a good quality that we exhibit to people to see. Amen. Praise God. What is righteousness? Righteousness is the good future, a good, a good future. Future people look at you when they see your face, they know that this person is not a crook. Amen. You know, you know, you see some people, even though they are clothed with fine linen inside of their face, you will see that this guy is a crook. Amen. Praise God. You will say that this man is a crook. Praise God. The futures. What is it? What is righteousness? Righteousness is good value. Good value. It's a good value. You can take righteousness anywhere, wherever you go to. When there's righteousness is you, is of good value. Amen. A good character is of great value. Amen. A good moral standing is of great value. Righteousness is a good word. A good word. Amen. Righteousness is a good word. It's something, when you say something is, is, uh, is of good word, it's something that is precious. Amen. Something that is that is that you cannot really quantify it or be able to put it together in terms of the word. It means that it's uh, it's priceless. Mm. Righteousness is what is priceless. Amen. Righteousness is high merit. High merit. Amen. High merit. It, 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 if you have righteousness, it's difficult for people to begin to measure you. Amen. Because you are higher above their own level where they are. Amen. When somebody is righteous, he's not proud. It's just that he has moved ahead by reason because it's a high merit. Praise God. You see that in in in, 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 men, in, in men of God, like our Father and the Lord. He, he, he doesn't have to make uh, so much noise. You will see a high merit in his character, in his conduct, in the way and approach that he, he, he takes things. You will see there's righteousness in him because righteousness is high merit. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody made, made a decision and said, why, why do you behave the way you behave? He said, I said, why, why, why do you keep people? He said, when you have a pot and you have plenty of wood that you are putting in, you don't because of anger say this wood is not good and pull all the wood away. If you pull the wood away, 
the wood, the, the food you put on the fire will not will not burn. So leave the leave the bad wood, leave the good wood together. Let the food be done, and let people eat the food. Amen. Praise God. So we are looking at about righteousness. Righteousness is honesty. Amen. A right a righteous person is honest. Is honest, honest in his ways, honest in his talk, honest in what you put in his hand. Amen. Honest with what comes out of his mouth, honest with his thought and actions. A, a, an upright, a, a righteous man is an upright man, person, uprightness, uprightness, his uprightness. What is righteousness? Righteous can be defined a person of integrity. Amen. You don't give him something I cannot account for it. Integrity is not by saying that uh, I'm not a. Integrity is when they give you something to keep and you can keep account of it. That's integrity. Between the people that gave them talents, one that they gave one, he went and buried it. But the one they gave five, he went and multiplied it. That's integrity. Integrity is giving something to you and you can account for it. That is righteousness. Righteousness is high caliber. Amen. High caliber. What is righteousness? Righteousness is fairness. Righteousness is fairness. Righteousness is rightness, being right. Righteousness is justness. That means you are producing something that is just. What is righteousness? Righteousness is fair dealing. You are dealing correctly. Amen. Like he said in the Bible, he said a, a, a person, the major, that you use a major, you don't hit it, hit it inside and feel false major. You don't do false major. Amen. So as we have given this background, we'll begin to look at them properly, why righteousness is very bad. But one of the key things before you can become righteous is to have faith in Christ Jesus. How do you have faith in Christ Jesus until you have given your life to Christ? The first thing that you must do is to give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ, then the journey of faith will not start. Then the journey of having a right standing with God will not start. Then you'll be like Enoch. They say all his life, he walked with God. And because he walked with God, God took him away. Because he was always walking with God, having a right standing. Every time God come and walk with him and play with him and joke with him and go away. When you see in the place, say, and Enoch walk with God. What does that mean? It means that he is righteous person, walking with God, having standing with God. God will come in the cool of the evening, like he used to do before the Adam and Eve decided to do whatever they felt like doing. In the case of, of, Enoch, of Enoch, God will come, will walk with him and play with him, take him to heaven, bring him to earth, because nobody can do what happened to in the case of Enoch, if Enoch has never visited God in heaven. God will come to earth with Enoch, Enoch will follow him to heaven, he will escort him back again, they will just be going like that, walking with God. Then one day, he just walk with God, I say, you are not going back again. That's how Enoch ended up in heaven. Christ stand in. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you want to get to that level, you must speak God must speak to you. Several times, issues will come. Myself and my wife will pray. We'll pray about it. I will say, Lord, what is what are you saying concerning the matter? And He will tell us, do this, do this. On our own, not by ourselves. You say, go to this scripture, go to this scripture, go to this scripture. We'll write out the scripture down while we're praying. We'll go to the scripture. we we'll see what he's doing. Very soon, something will begin to happen. Amen. Why? Because we want to remain standing with God all the days of our life. Are you here tonight? I have not given your life to Christ. The journey starts by being a friend of God, being a shadow of God, being a member of the family of God. You want to give your life to Christ today? It's very important. I beg of you that if you want to enjoy advantage benefit, good quality, good value, good worth, hard merit, honesty, uprightness, integrity, high caliber, fairness. You must first of all give your life to Christ. If you're in that category, be on your knees as you pray this prayer with me. 
Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Be my Lord, my Redeemer, and my Savior. Cleanse me of all my sin, iniquity, and unrighteousness with your blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. I say bye-bye to the world of sin and <laughs> Satan. Make me a new creation. Write my name in the book of life. Make me a child of God. Make me a family of God. Lord Jesus, take over my life. Take complete and absolute control of everything that concerns me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. For in Jesus' name we pray. If you pray that prayer with me, I want to pray with you also. Father, I want to thank you for this one that are giving their life to you. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will find them faithful to stand all the way through. Holy Spirit of the living God, hold their hands and navigate them through the terrains of life, the bumpy, bumpy road, bumpy ride through life so that they will not go back. Every problem that come their way, Holy Spirit, stabilize them, empower them, help them, comfort them, stand with them all the way through. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You have prayed that prayer. That's the biggest decision you have taken in your life. And for doing that, the Lord will uphold you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you have done that, look for a mountain of fire, a miracle ministry near you. Mountain of fire, miracle ministry near you. And begin to worship them. If you don't have a mountain of fire, miracle ministry near you, very simple, go to any Bible-believing church. These are the conditions you must find in that Bible-believing church. Number one, they must preach from the Bible, not from another book. Number two, they must preach the totality of the word of God. That is, they will not preach only from New Testament. They will preach from the Old Testament and the New Testament. They must preach about God Almighty, that there is God. They must preach about heaven, because heaven is real. They must preach about hell, and hell is real. They will not preach about purgatory, because there's nothing like that. Amen. They will preach about the rapture. They must preach also about the death and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ again. They must preach about holiness. They must preach and not covering sin. Any moral thing that is happening in the, in, in the church, they must say it out. Praise the name of the Lord. There must be brokenness in the place. Above all, it must be a church where they pray. They must pray. If it's a one-hour program, they must pray at least 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. If they don't pray, then forget about the church. Just go and look for another church. Must be a pray church. Amen. You look at where we read now. Say, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The remaining of us, you cannot be righteous when you are living in sin. Amen. We better ask the Lord now. Let's ask the Lord to forgive us. Let's ask the Lord to forgive us. Anywhere we have sinned against the Lord, let's ask God to forgive us. Let's ask God to forgive us. Let's ask God to forgive us. Let him forgive us of our sin, of every unrighteousness in our life. Let's ask God to forgive us. Let him forgive us. Let the blood of Jesus, let it cleanse us. Let God have mercy. Let him have mercy upon us. Let him have mercy upon us. Let him have mercy upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let him have mercy upon us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, government of darkness in my life, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Government of darkness in my life, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Government of darkness in my life, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Government of darkness in my life, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Government of darkness in my life, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Government of darkness in my life, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Power of environmental covenant. I paralyze you to death 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Power of environmental covens. I paralyze you to death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of environmental covens. I paralyze you to death. I paralyze you to death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of environmental covens. I paralyze you to death. I paralyze you to death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of environmental covens. I paralyze you to death. I paralyze you to death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of environmental covens. I paralyze you to death. I paralyze you to death. I paralyze you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Opportunity waster say, my life is not your candidate. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Opportunity waster say, my life is not your candidate. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Opportunity waster say, my life is not your candidate. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Opportunity waster say, my life is not your candidate. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Opportunity waster say, my life is not your candidate. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say any shame. Binding my wealth as I clap a hand, break into pieces now, break into pieces by fire now, break into pieces by fire now. In the mighty name of Jesus, any chain binding my wealth, binding my with my finances as I clap a hand, break into pieces now, break into pieces now, break into pieces now. Any chain binding my resources, binding my resources, break into pieces now, 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 break into pieces now. Break it to 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 pieces now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say spiritual powerlessness in my life. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritual powerlessness in my life. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritual powerlessness in my life. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritual powerlessness in my life. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Spiritual powerlessness in my life. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are praying. Pray this one. Drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh. Hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Die and be buried. In the mighty name of Jesus. Die and be buried now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Drinkers of blood. Eaters of flesh. I sign against my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Die and be buried. 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 Time be better in the name of Jesus. Drink us of blood, eat us of flesh. I sign against my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Die and be buried now. Die and be buried now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Die and be buried now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Die and be buried now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Die and be buried now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Drink us of blood. I eat us of flesh. I sign against my life. I sign against my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Die and be buried now. Die and be buried now. Die and be buried now. In Jesus' name we pray. My inner mind, receive fire. My inner mind, receive fire. Become fire and vomit fire. My inner mind, receive fire. Become fire and vomit fire. My inner mind, receive fire. Become fire and vomit fire. My inner mind, receive 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 fire. My inner mind. Uh -huh. My inner mind receive fire. 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 Say it like machine gun. Say it like machine gun. My inner mind receive fire. 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 
Maina maina, receive fire. Maina maina, receive fire. Maina maina, receive fire. Maina maina, receive fire. Basoka fanto rama, zika toro masera ba. Braka poko soka rama. Let the fire go. 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 Enter into your body now. Enter into your body now. Enter into your soul now. Enter into your soul now. Enter into your spirit now. Enter into my zika rama. Let the fire go. Let the fire go. Let the fire be inside of you now. Let the fire go. 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 Receive 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 the fire go. Fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Enter, 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 enter into the life of that sister now. Enter into the life of that sister now. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Enter into Hannah, 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 enter into that brother now, enter into that brother Fire, 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 fire. Bursa kapun to the masin karaba. Fire of God, fire of God, fire of God. Enter, 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 enter expressly. Enter, enter expressly, enter expressly. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Be singing that song. By my uh, inner mind, receive fire. By inner mind, receive fire. Begin to say, say that, say that, say that, say that, say that. Where there's a fire of God inside of you, where the fire of God is inside of you, no demons can come near you. Rapa, pa, 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 Fire, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God. Move, 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 move. That's why he can put on my satellite. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, man, amen. Look at the fire, look at the fire, look at the fire burning, burning, fire burning in the soul, burning the soul of that sister. You cannot be the same again. You cannot remain the same again. Oh, yes, you have get you to another level. Another level with your work with God. Another level with your work with God. Oh, my say, I can't be so good. I'm a set to live. Brah, 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 toko, reba, kesa, kareba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. The power that healed blind Bartimaeus. Oh, God, arise. Heal me. In the mighty name of Jesus. The power that healed blind Bartimaeus. Oh God, arise! Heal me by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power, by the power that He blind by Timothy. Oh God, arise! Heal me by fire. Heal me by fire. By the power that He blind by Timothy. Oh God, arise! Heal me by fire. Heal me by fire. Heal me by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heal me by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heal me by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say power of infirmity and limitation. Your time is up in my life. As I clap my hand, scatter and die by fire. 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 Power of infirmity and limitation. Your, your time is up in my life. As I clap my hand, scatter and die by fire. 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 Power of infirmity and limitation. Your time is up in my life. As I clap a hand, scatter and die by fire. 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 Powers of infirmity and limitation. Your time is up in my life. Scatter and die by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say inherited infirmities. You are a liar. Be flushed out and die in the name of Jesus. Inherited infirmities. You are a liar. Be flushed out and die. Be flushed out and die. Be flushed out and die. Be flushed out and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Be flushed out and die. Inherited infirmities. You are a liar. Be flushed out and die. Be flushed out and die in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ sanitize my blood. Put any sickness in my life out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ sanitize my blood. I put any sickness out of my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ sanitize my blood. I put any sickness out of my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Masi Karamo Sundaba. Masi Akaramoko. Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ sanitize my blood. I put any sickness out of my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for that which you have shown to us about righteousness. Father, we need justice. Father, justice in our healing. Justice in our place of work. Justice concerning our document. Justice concerning our singleness. Justice for be being alone. Justice so that our helpers can locate us. Justice to move right with God. Justice to give glory unto the Lord. Justice in all the wicked powers of my father's house. Justice against all the witches and wizards that are attacking me. Justice over the power of darkness. Father, release your justice upon me. Release your justice for me. Avenge for me. Avenge for me in the name of Jesus. Avenge for me. Every area of my life where am I being threatened. Lord, avenge for me in the name of Jesus. Avenge for us in the name of Jesus. Father, every area concerning everyone that is appearing in this place now that are supposed to live a better life, but the powers of wickedness have not allowed them to live that life. Father, release your justice for them. Release your justice for them. Release your justice for them. I release your justice for them. Judge all the enemies of their life. Judge the enemies of their life. The enemy of their promotion. Judge them today. Judge them today. Judge them today. The enemy of their promised land. Judge them today. Judge them today. Judge them today. The enemies of their captors. Judge them today. Judge them today. Judge them today. The enemies of their of those that have overcome them, judge them today, judge them today, judge them today. The enemies that have put blockages on their way, judge them today, judge them today. In the mighty name of Jesus, hold on us. The enemies that have dug hole for them, judge them today, judge them today, judge them today. In the name of Jesus, the enemies that have taken that which belongs to them, judge them today, judge them today. In the name of Jesus, the enemies that have put them in prison, have put them in a cage, judge them today. Judge them today in the name of Jesus. Judge them today in the name of Jesus. Judge them today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Congratulations. Congrat God said that you congratulate you because your, the justice you have been asking for, God has released it upon you now. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Can we share the grace and fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Say to yourself, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It is well with you. It is well with you. See you later when we will continue with our midnight warfare battle, deliverance, healing, and prayers. 11 o'clock European time. Broadcast to many, many people. All the people that are on this line, on this broadcast line, send texts. Send, share this thing, share all our broadcasts. You know, we have handled so many, many things. Don't allow those things to create issues in your life. Share it with other people. The Lord be with you. See you later. Amen.